Let's get started with the Easing Mid Inspection app. In order to use the app, you'll need the following. An inspector account in the eSEMA database is needed to log in. If you're registered by an inspection company or as a freelance inspector, this will be the default. But other users can also be granted access by their company administrator. Accreditation will be required to upload. Either you will be an ABI with a relevant inspection type and supplementary accreditation, or you can be supervised during the inspection by somebody who is. Finally, you'll need a supported device and browser. That's most modern computers, tablets and smartphones. And an internet connection at the start and end of the inspection process. You can work offline in between. You can access the app easily via the eSEMA database website. Look for Inspection App in the top menu. You can also go directly to imcacmid.com forward slash inspect. You should install the app to ensure the best experience and offline access. How you do this varies between devices, browsers and even different software versions. On some, you'll be prompted to install or add to home or start. On others, you will need to locate the relevant option. But we've put together detailed instructions in user guides available on the eCMID website. As the software can be updated, we'd welcome feedback uh, to help improve these user guides. The eSeamid Inspection app has an adaptive interface to give you the best experience no matter what device you're using. On wider screens, such as desktop PCs, laptops, and larger tablets in landscape format, you'll see the menu menu to the left, with all the steps in the inspection process. At the top of the main panel is a toolbar that changes depending on which page is being viewed. To reduce scrolling, some content is displayed in columns side by side. On smaller devices, you'll see the mobile view, where the icon-based menu is displayed at the bottom, and the main content is stacked sequentially. The default save option uses your browser storage, which may be limited. Other options help create a backup and enable you to switch devices, perhaps to take a tablet on the vessel, then complete the report on your PC. Save to cloud will store your draft on our servers. Please note this is just a snapshot, so if you make changes to the report, you'll need to re-upload to update the cloud version. An internet connection is obviously required for this. Save to file will create an IMCA PWA file, which you can use as a backup or to transfer to another device. This function is not available on iOS or iPad due to technical restrictions on those devices. When you're online, you can also download a PDF copy of the report watermarked with its current status, such as draft, uploaded for auditing, or complete and uploaded to the database. Here we have the login screen of the eSEMID inspection app as viewed by a new user. Enter your email address and password as used on the eSEMID database website and click login. If you've forgotten your password, click here to enter your details and a reset email will be sent to you. If you've used the app before, you might see previous inspections listed below. There's also the option to open a saved inspection file created previously, perhaps on another device. This option is not available on iOS or iPad due to technical restrictions on those devices. Let's go ahead and log in. Once logged in, you'll see the main menu in blue, together with some additional options. Start a new inspection, which you'll see in a moment. Open an inspection from this device, which will list any reports available in your browser storage. You can also delete using the bin icon. Open an inspection from the cloud lets you continue working on a draft saved to our servers. Open a saved inspection file lets you use a previously created IMCA PWA file, perhaps for an another device. Audit and inspection will show if you have any reports sent to you as an auditor which have not yet been completed. Finally, you can view your user details by the last link in the list. Let's go ahead and view them. This screen shows your details as stored in your eSEMID database account. They can be updated via the database website. You also see your accreditation number 
and the inspection types for which you're accredited. If this data needs an update, contact the Marine Surveying Academy. You can also log out. The first link stops others accessing your database account, but retains your report data, while the second will clear any account or inspection data stored in the browser. If you'd like further information or need help with any aspect, the eCMID website contains short task-based user guides together with the latest news, features and guidance. The eCMID help desk provided by IMCA is here for any questions on using the app, the database website and payment of upload fees, or if you have any questions regarding the technical content of the inspection templates. The Marine Surveying Academy team can help you with your accreditation data, CPD, and any updates to your entry in the online ABI directory. Thank you for watching and listening.